Hi everyone, this is Linus, you're watching Gizmo China, and this is the review of the Yumi Emacs Mini. Yumi Emacs Mini comes in a typical for Yumi box and the contents include the OnePlus One style USB cable, power plug and instruction manuals. When it comes to the design of the phone, Yumi Emacs Mini is a very compact phone due to its 5 inches display. Also, the phone is very lightweight and it sports all plastic build. On the front we have an 8 megapixels camera, a sensor light, earpiece and notification LED. On the bottom we can find 3 capacitive keys and back and multitasking buttons also have a nice backlight. The back weight is made of textured plastic, it feels nice to the touch and helps with the grip. As far as optics, we have a 30 megapixel snapper with a single LED flash. On the right, we have a volume rocker and a power key. On the top, there is a headset jack and on the bottom, we have a mic, USB port and the speaker grill. The backplate is removable where you can find an embedded generous 3050mAh battery, a 2 SIM card slot and a microSD card slot for storage expansion. Overall, the phone looks and feels very well made and high quality despite using mainly plastic in its build. I have to say, I kinda like it. The 5 inches display on the Yumi Emacs Mini is of a 1080p variety and it is sharp, bright and a great panel to look at overall. The only shortcoming would be that it doesn't have the best sunlight visibility but still visible outdoors. The phone runs on Android 5.0 Lollipop, which is not the newest version, but I don't think it's a big issue. The UI is clean and you are getting a pretty much stock Android experience except for the fact that Yumi redesigned some icons. I'm actually quite happy that Yumi didn't add any of those useless gesture controls and left only one we mostly use, double tap to wake. It is mostly working great, but it happened a few times that it worked only from a second time. As far as the overall smoothness of the UI, I can say mostly positive things. Everything's running nice and fast even with quite a few apps running in the background. Yumi Emacs Mini comes with a pretty decent hardware package. It includes an Octacar Snapdragon 615 chip with a clock speed of 1.5GHz, 2GB of RAM and 16GB of expandable storage. The 3D game's performance is actually great. The graphics look good and there were just a few minor skip frames but there is nothing worth complaining about. Most importantly, there are no overheating issues whatsoever. When it comes to the multimedia consumption, the HD content looks great on a nice and sharp display and even the loudspeaker is loud and pretty good too despite lacking just a little bit of depth. The sound via earphones is decent too. Yumi Emacs Mini comes with a nicely designed camera app with some shooting modes and settings to play with. They even included a manual mode which is a nice addition for a budget phone. Both focus time and the share speeds are, have improved significantly over the previous Yumi phones I've tested. When it comes to the actual quality of the images, I would say that it is one of the best Yumi phones yet. With plenty of light, the images tend to look great and with a good amount of details and color reproduction is mostly good. However, the dynamic range is not always correct. In the lower lit situations, you may see softer focus, less details and more noise. The night shots are ok for a budget phone but we have quite a lot of grain in the images. However, I've seen a lot worse performers in this price range. A selfie camera is pretty good too and it also has a fast shutter speed. As far as video, the phone can capture some decent looking footage. Well, it is not the sharpest out there but definitely more than usable. All the connectivity options are actually working great and I had no issues with GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi or call quality. When it comes to the battery life, Yumi Emacs Mini is a good performer too. I could get up to 5 hours of screen on time with both light and heavy use and both with the auto and max brightness. So there you have it, the Yumi Emacs Mini. I have to say that this is a pretty good phone overall and I was happy to use it during my testing period. For less than $150 US, you are getting a simple but neat design and great build quality and sharp and bright 5 inches display, almost stock looking UI, good performance, decent camera and a good battery life. One minor complaint would be that the double tap to wake feature works only from the second time when you pick the phone from the standby mode. Other than that, I have to say that Yumi really stepped up their game with this model and the Emacs Mini is a really good offering in this price range. I will leave a product link in the description below this video if you want to check it out. 
It was Linus, thanks for watching and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the Gizmo China's YouTube channel. Also, I suggest you checking out gizmochina.com for a full written review and other Chinese phones news and reviews. Thanks for watching again and see you in the next one.